Good morning guys, a fresh day, a fresh haircut, fresh video. Now over the next couple of days I'm going to be covering Terminal 21 and Icon Siam, so if you want to catch that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. But today, today we're going to be covering Terminal 21, like I said, and it's actually literally right down there next door to where I live. And I, I'm, Honestly, I go there probably five times per week and you'll find out why later on in this video. But today, today we're going to take a tour of all of the floors in Terminal 21 and why you should visit it, even if you're not looking for anything specific to buy. It's just one of those places to just explore, enjoy, and just uh, have a look around and enjoy it with you. Maybe your family, friends, kids, whatever. There's something there for everybody. So the mall itself is an airport travel themed mall and every floor is decorated in the theme of each country that it represents. Now there's 10 floors all together, starting with Bangkok on the basement floor. You work your way up to Caribbean, Rome, Paris, Tokyo, London, Istanbul, two floors of San Francisco, and last but not least, Hollywood. Now I'm gonna show you the highlights and the features of all of the floors as we walk around, and you'll see that it's just a completely amazing place to walk around. Even the toilets have got different themes. I remember I was there yesterday, and there was a bakery-themed toilet, and I was just like, have they got bread in the toilet? And they did, they had bread in the toilet. <laughs> well, uh, let's go and have a look and I'll show you. Oh, and quickly, I just need to mention there's also a hotel on top of those 10 floors called the Grand Center Point Hotel. And that's the, uh, the really beautiful building right here behind me. It literally just sits on top and uh, we'll cover that in a different video, but it's worth knowing that that's there as well because this is a prime location here on Secumbit Road for people to come and have their holidays. Also, the location of this mall is at the Asok Interchange. So you've got both the Asok BTS here on your right-hand side, and just around the corner you've got MRT Sukhumvit. So it's one of the most accessible malls here in uh, the heart of Bangkok. Sadly, the Bangkok floor has been relegated right to the basement, right at the start of this journey. And it literally just comprises of the, uh, the car park, and they're also a postal service, which is pretty good if you want to get some photocopies or some printouts done. I've had a few people ask me here in the city where to get printouts done, and this is where you can get it done. There's also a few other little shops here, but it's mainly just the start of your journey from the car park, and you work your way up. So from the lower ground floor, this is where the themes start and work their way all the way up. And on this floor, it's the Caribbean floor. So basically, you'll see that everything's sort of like decorated in a Caribbean and kind of a vibe you got like this big anchor and a little pond now from this floor basically the next three floors is kind of like an event space in the middle where they swap out the event every sort of one and a half to two weeks uh, here in the shopping center so they keep things fresh and there's always something going on for like the next three floors at the moment it's kind of like a, a summer event that's going on so you get like sort of summer clothes here and then in two weeks it will be another kind of event and uh, yeah it's really uh, worth keeping an eye on to see like what's going on in the shopping center because it's changing all of the time so as well as the event space and maybe like a couple of banks, they've got loads of food places to sit down and eat, as well as a gourmet supermarket. Now this place is not cheap, to be honest with you, but you really can get some really fresh produce here, like loads of fresh fruit and nuts, and uh, you can get like a salad bar and just all sorts of fresh uh, ingredients and stuff that you need to cook yourself. But like I said, this is a gourmet supermarket, so uh, expect to pay a little bit of a premium, but trust me, the, the food quality here is absolutely amazing. So we'll make our way up to the ground floor now, which is actually Rome, Rome-inspired theme. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna basically go through every single store that's on every floor, because there's a bit of a variety. There's pretty much closed stores on every single floor at this shopping mall. But uh, you've got like some knickknacks in other stores and sort of body wash stores and all sorts. But you can see down below on the lower ground where we started, you've got where the events started. And basically it's a continuation on this ground floor for Rome. They sell slightly different stuff, but it's all still summer-based stuff based on the, um, whatever event they've got going on at the time. So here's a quick look at what to expect on this floor and obviously this week's current event. And then you can make your way up to Paris, which is uh, the next floor on our list. So Paris is where you get this crazy escalator. It's actually three stories high, absolutely huge. I think somebody said it's like one of the biggest escalators in the world. I don't know whether that's true or not. I'd have to fact check that, but yeah, it's absolutely crazy. And it allows you just to skip your way up if you're working your way up to the food court at the top. And again, the continuation here from the uh, the event that's going on at the moment and a bunch of other shops uh, to have a look around. There's a huge Starbucks here and uh, H&M and all sorts of bits and bobs as well as the event as well. I'm actually really confused as to why they don't have a, an Eiffel Tower here, considering it's a Paris floor. Uh, but yeah, they've decorated all the other floors really well, just not this one. You'll also notice that there's basically two ends to this shopping center. So it's kind of like two lots of escalators on each end. So depending on whereabouts you're shopping in the shopping center, you can work your way up from each side. 
So up here from level one, you've got these street sections. And as you can see, they're all decorated depending on which floor and which uh, travel destination you're in. And there's lots of, like, loads of like little market stalls here. They're not fully open since COVID, obviously, um, but they're definitely worth a look. And they've all got like this little unique environment to have a look at from the next three or four floors above. So as you walk down, they've got like a really vintage vibe to like all of the clothing that they've got here. It's mostly women's clothes. Uh, very wide selection, very colourful, very, uh, very, very Tokyo really. Um, not all of the shops are sort of dedicated to the Tokyo theme on each of the levels, but uh, they do try and make an effort to sort of blend in and all be on the same page basically. Right, let's head on up to level two, up to London. We've got so much more to cover, let's go. So again, similar to the Tokyo still, we've got like lots of different stalls here. This is more Tokyo-esque, if you ask me though. Um, but yeah, like just uh, have a little wander around. They've got sort of kids' toys, uh, all sorts of bits and bobs to see. Again, still more kids' toys. There's a beautiful coffee, coffee shop here that overlooks the uh, Ahsoka interchange as well. So come down here and take a look. We've got some welcome to Carnaby Street sign as you walk around. A few old London lampposts here and there. And I know somewhere, somewhere around here, they've got a London bus. Look at this place. They've turned the London bus into a shop. Let's take a look. This is what I was saying about the themed toilets. This is like a subway themed toilet of the London underground. You'd literally think you're walking into a subway here. It is crazy, they've made such an effort. Look at that. It's like a home from home. And obviously I won't go, the toilets are just through there, but uh, yeah, how fun is that? All right, time to stop messing around. Up to level three, Istanbul. So on this floor they've got like a lot of uh, a lot of jewellery and bespoke items to buy. They've got a, a bunch of uh, unique clothes. You can even buy aliens up here, as you do. But, um, yeah, some really colourful and unique things to buy. Good for uh, gift buying. Now, I don't know what uh, Istanbul's famous for. Maybe it is flamingos. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I'll uh, explore this one with you guys. these areas laid out as well probably to come and uh, encourage people to come take those uh, Instagram photos pretty similar to the, the previous floors we've been on it's worth keep making your way up some of the best floors are still to come up to level four which is San Francisco City Street now it's actually two levels of San Francisco you've got City Street and you've also got Pier 21 which is my favorite floor trust me and uh, the reason why I come here five days a week usually and uh, yeah let's have a look at four four is basically uh, a floor just purely for food purely to indulge lots of premium places to uh, get yourself some food and even from level four here you can look on upwards you can see the Hollywood floor at the top there you've got fitness first right at the top you've got this giant what is it a golden globe statue something like that anyway he's uh, a little bit taller than me maybe he's a uh, six foot five I highly recommend this place as well. It's a Lebanese restaurant. Really, really beautiful food here. Reasonably priced and uh, open all day. Definitely worth a visit. I've been here quite a few times now. Also from this floor, you can see the San Francisco Bridge. Absolutely epic. They've got little cars on top of it as well. We'll see when we go on the, uh, onto the next floor of San Francisco. Absolutely crazy. Right, up to level five, my absolute favorite floor where I spent all my time. Whether you live here, come here to visit, it's just a must visit. It caters for everyone's budget. Trust me, everyone's. 
So this floor is pretty similar to the previous floor, level four. Again, this is a San Francisco floor as well. But the main reason to come here is this place, Pier 21, the food court. The Terminal 21 food court here it is the cheapest food court in the whole of Bangkok. And I'll, uh, I'll take you for a walk around and I'll show you what it's all about. So to start with, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a coupon or a, a card here from the counter. I'd recommend starting off with like 100 or maybe 200, but whatever you don't spend, you can get back afterwards. And once you've got that, you can make your way into the food stalls to have a look. Basically, all of the stalls above have got all of the food listed with uh, little pictures, diagrams, the, uh, the price right underneath as well, just to make it really simple for you. So 29 baht, 33 baht, 30 baht. And uh, above all of the, the sections, you've got like pork noodles, Hainese, chicken and rice. And it's all cooked fresh. A lot of the stuff here is cooked to order. So as soon as you order it, they get it in the pan. All for this cheap price as well. Look at the prices here, 29 baht, 30, 32, 35. It's crazy. Once you've got your food, once you've got something to drink, you've got plenty of places to sit. I'd recommend sitting along here. Got a really nice view out the window. So not only are you paying absolute minimal prices for food, sometimes even beating the street food prices, look at the view you get for it as well. Last but not least, we're gonna head up to level six here. And this, this is Hollywood. It's where they've got telecommunications, got some health and beauty sections, and a huge, huge SFC cinema. So while you're waiting for your film to start, play a few games, relax, chill out, enjoy yourself. So that is it for Terminal 21, all of the floors covered. I hope you can see like how unique it is and why I bothered to show you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna show you uh, shopping malls that are just the same as all of the others. I'm only gonna show you the ones that I think are worth like, visiting no matter what you're doing. So that's why I'm gonna cover Terminal 21 and like I said, Icon Siam. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to catch me for the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.